A fiery horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hail silver. The Lone Ranger. <laughs> faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Hurry, big fellow! I'll Silver! Red Creek, Oklahoma was one day old. Early that spring morning, a drowsy, sun-baked Indian village awakened to find itself directly in the path of a human tidal wave. Thousands of frantic, yelling, riding, and wildly excited people poured across the Kansas state line and into the Cherokee Strip. They came on horseback and on foot, by wagon, buckboard, and schooner. Some of them kept on going south. Others stopped and filed land claims. A town was born. By sundown, Red Creek, Oklahoma, boasted a population of 15,000. It was a city of tents, oil lanterns, and red dust of honest home seekers, boomers, and assorted crooks. A few hours later... The honest people had elected a sheriff and retired for the night. Others, christening a big tent, the Longhorn Cafe, and drank whiskey from tin cups. Ho, 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 bitch, ho, ho. Dan Reed, dismounting from his white colt, surveyed the scene with wide-eyed wonder. It was fun to ride into a brand new town. Now, if he could just find an outlaw named Cal Borger. The question was answered a few moments later when the sheriff yelled at a tall man leaving the Longhorn Cafe. Walker! What the... Thought I told you over two hours ago to skin out of town. We don't want your kind in this town. Not now nor ever. You can't make me... Don't reach for him, Walker. I'm warning you. Why, you dirty... Golly. Hey, did you see that? Yeah. Sheriff Cheney just yeah. dropped Cal Borger. Two yeah. shots right through the heart. Boys, we got a real sheriff on the law in Red Creek. Hello, boys. Is that man's name Cal Borger? He used to be Borger, son. He's nothing but coyote bait now. Just a no good tin horn. I warned him, but he wouldn't listen. Gee. He was packing two guns and tried to outdraw me. <laughs> yeah, some hombres will never learn. This is a new state and a new town. Don't know about the rest of the country, but this one spot's going to stay clean. All you gents understand that? You might be good, sir. We're for you. <laughs> that law dog thinks he's a lead slinger, don't he, kid? Mm, did a pretty good job. Too good for me. Yeah? How do you mean? I wanted to talk to Kalburger. I had a message for him. 
care I won't be doing any more talking. <laughs> what was the message? It was for him, personally. Yeah? The only reason I mentioned it is because Kel and me have been riding the same range. You have? Well, I thought Kel Burger was an outlaw. Gunslinger with Matt Bradshaw's gang up in the hills someplace. Well. Oh, I see. What's your name? A Tommy. Tennessee Tommy, they call me. Uh, I'm from down south. What's your handle? Dan Reed. Uh, you make the run this morning over the line? No, I just rode in a few minutes ago. See Borger. I can't see what a kid like you would want with a hard case gent like Cal, but... Well, I keep my nose out of other folks' business. <laughs> see you again, kid. Hey, wait. Are, aren't you gonna... I mean, can you just leave a dead man lying there in the middle of the road? No way I can help him now. Sheriff started that job. He's the one to finish it. Ah. Tennessee, tell me. So he's one of the Bradshaw gang, too. I think I'll follow him. followed Tennessee Tommy into the crowded tent called the Longhorn Cafe, he was sure he was doing what the Lone Ranger wanted him to do. He remembered distinctly how United States Marshal Frank Garvin from Fort Smith, Arkansas, had ridden into their camp early that morning. Oh, oh boy, oh there, oh boy. Hello, Marshal. You made good time. I didn't expect you until this afternoon. <laughs> Plans have been changed a little. Glad I found you waiting. We've been camped here for two days. Just going to have breakfast, won't you join us? Thanks. Now, this is Dan Reed, Marshal. Boy, I've told you about. Oh, yes. How are you, Dan? I'm fine, thank you. Where's Tano? Tano had to ride north a few days ago, Marshal. The head of his tribe, Chief Thundercloud, sent for him. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. The Indian would have been a big help to us on this job. Maybe we can work it out some other way. Please get breakfast started, Dan. We're all hungry. Oh, sure. Well, what's a job you had in mind, Marshal? You didn't explain in your letter when we arranged this meeting. Same thing I've been trying to do for the past year and a half. Corral Matt Bradshaw and his gang. Bradshaw? He's been holding up here in Indian Territory for a long time. Longer than I want to remember. He and his bunch of outlaws are responsible for 90% of the killings, robberies, and rustling that go on between here and the state line. Now it's going to be worse. You mean when the government opens Cherokee Strip this morning? Sure. All right, this very minute, there must be thousands of people rushing in there to stake land claims. They'll have money, lay out towns, and, and Bradshaw will start some of his raiding stunts. You know where his hideout is? Someplace in Narrowhead Canyon. Oh, why not form a posse to ride in there no, and try work, to... I've tried it. Bradshaw's got a lookout spotted all over that canyon. No, the only way to nail him is to work from the inside. Oh. Ever hear of Slim Crozier? Yeah, gunman specializes in train robberies. That's him. Now, the reason I wanted to see you... I figure Slim Crozier can join Bradshaw's gang. Work from the inside, tip us off. Where's Slim now? In jail, back in Fort Smith. I don't think the word's got up here yet. He's about your bill and sometimes wears a mask. Something like yours. You want me to pose as Slim Crozier, is that it? And join Bradshaw's bunch? <laughs> oh, would you? You're the only man I know who might be able to get away with it. Slim's got quite a reputation for handling his guns. I'll be glad to help. But the question is... How do we find Bradshaw? I got that figured out. If Tonto was only here, he could... Well, what do you mean? There's only one outlaw I know for certain runs with Matt. I had him in jail once, about two, three years ago. Name's Cal Borger. Well? The nearest Indian village to Arrowhead Canyon is called Red Creek. By tonight, it'll be a rip-roaring boom town. If any of Bradshaw's men are there, it'll be this Borger hombre. He's always the front man. How does that fit into your plan? I figured that Tonto could ride into Red Creek and hunt out Borger. Tell him Slim Crozier wanted to see him. And if you played your cards right, Borger might take you to Bradshaw. Yes, it might work. At least it's worth a trial. But with Tonto gone, how can we send anybody into Red Creek? Well, Borger knows me, and I don't... Dan could do that. Couldn't you, Dan? Well, sure. What does Gal Borger look like? Red-faced, kind of heavy. Just to uh, give him the message, Dan... Then got him back here to the camp. When shall I start? Oh, as soon as we finish breakfast. And while you're gone, the marshal and I will work out the rest of the plan. I'm mighty grateful to you. That's all right. We're glad to help, aren't we, Dan? Why, well, sure. That's 
just the way it had happened. And Dan had spent all day riding to Red Creek. Now the situation had changed. Cal Borger was dead. But he had accidentally met another outlaw named Tennessee Tommy. He wondered whether he should give Tommy the message originally intended for Borger. As he moved through the crowded Longhorn Cafe, past an improvised bar, roulette wheel, poker, and blackjack tables, Dan was surprised to feel a sudden tug on the sleeve of his jacket. Could I... Uh, I mean, could I speak to you? Why, sure, ma'am. Aren't you the boy I saw talking to Tommy out in the street a few minutes ago? Tennessee Tommy? Yeah, I was talking to him. He introduced himself. Where did he go? I think he came in here. I hope so. I want to see him. Will you... Will you do me a favor? Yeah, of course, ma'am. When you find Tommy, tell him I'm waiting right outside, that I want to see him. Oh, sure I will, but... Oh, there he is now. Where? See? Over there at the poker table. He's been playing cards. He... He's drawn his gun. No, Tommy, please, no! Come on, let's go over there. Get him behind, gents. Get him behind. Keep him there. Now, wait a minute, stranger. Ain't no call for you to pull a gun. If you figure this game in on the square... Come on, through, figure it. No tin horn dealer's gonna slip my cards off the bottom of the deck. Well, I didn't keep your hands up. Before I knock the tin off some of those horns. When I get tangled with a bunch of rimfire sports like this, I don't care who I drill. Tommy! Nora, how did I'm you get here? I'm not gonna stand here and... Why, you dirty... Hey, he's 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 out of his sleeve. Tommy, you killed him. The sheriff... Oh, hello there, kid. Hello. Now, don't worry, Nora. No lawman's going to put his brain on me. I'll be out of town the before the... horses together into town. Yeah, but I... Say, the kid here's got a car. You's a white colt. Come on, kid. You and me are traveling. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. That's what you think. Get moving. Tommy! I'll be... I'll see you later. Come on, Dan. We're both riding your colt. All right. Yeah, this is my horse. Steady, Victor. Give me a hand, kid, so I can swing up behind you. That's it. Now head south. The town store tutor gets any ideas, we'll be a mile out in front. Come on, Victor. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, Victor. What's oh. the idea? I've got to give my horse a rest. Can't carry a load like this without stopping. Oh, come on, then. Back of this overhang. We got a posse to hold on. Say, if you think I'm going to go... Come on. on. You'll be the first one I'll pick off. Uh, all right, Victor. Come on, boy. What are you going to do? Get the grit. Make it fast. Put the colt back of that rock. Yeah, steady, boy. Don't worry. You'll be all right. <laughs> I don't see how you... Here they come. Get out your gun. I haven't got a gun. What kind of an... Op- <laughs> No gun? What kind of a kid are you? Thought you were a friend of Cal Borger. No. I was just going to tell Borger that a friend of mine wanted to see him. Yeah? Who? Slim Crozier. He's camped not far from here. Slim Crozier? And after Borger was killed, I was going to give the message to you, but I don't want... Come on, man. Hug the ground, kid. I got some shooting to do. Up there, Sheriff. Bring out your guns. curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Continue our story. 
huddled close to the ground behind the rock from which Tennessee Tommy was trying to hold off an advancing sheriff's posse, Dan Reed watched the outlaw thumb fresh cartridges into his smoking gun. How many of them are there? I can't tell. They're all on foot now and fanning out to surround us. Then if we're ever going to get away, we'd better do it now. Yeah. I don't think I nailed any of them. Might have winged a few. How far Slim Crozier's came from here? About three miles. Straight south. Well, I haven't got a prayer to cut through these tin packers and make it to Arrowhead. We'll head for Slim's place. All right, but how are we... Grab the lid on that cayuse. I'll be with you in a minute. You've got to run, Victor, like you've never run before. Steady. All right, kid. Prod this cayuse. Let's go. Come on, Victor. Dan, you're back sooner than I expected. Uh, had a pretty tough trip. Oh, this is Tommy, Tennessee Tommy. Hello, Tommy. Uh, Slim Crozier, huh? I've heard about you. Uh, is that so? Oh, who hasn't? What you doing up here in the territory? Oh, just looking around. Did you find Cal Borger, Dan? Yeah, I found him. But he and the sheriff in Red Creek had an argument. He lost. He's dead. The law dog warned Cal to get out of town. He uh, didn't move fast enough. Sorry to hear it. So I brought Tommy instead. He knows Matt Bradshaw. Bradshaw? What do you want to know about Matt? Oh, nothing in particular. I thought he might be able to use another gun hand. You? Who else? I thought you always worked alone. Oh, changed my mind. I don't know what Matt would say to that. He's uh, holed up somewhere at Arrowhead, isn't he? Yeah. Got some cabins up there. Then let's ride up. You can introduce me. I don't get this. You and the kid here. Dan's a friend of mine. You've got nothing to lose by taking us to Matt's hideout. You don't have a horse. Riding's a lot better than walking. Here, Silver. Yeah, I guess you're right. Better ride with me this time, Tommy. Steady. Give Dan's cold a rest. Yeah. How far is it, Arrowhead Canyon? Oh, not over ten miles. Good. Come on, Silver. Get up, Victor. There's nothing but three or four deserted-looking cabins. Doesn't seem to be anyone around. Corral's full, so the boys must be over in the big shack drinking 40 rod. Come on, you can leave your horses here. Hey, big fella. Come on, Dan. Yep, sure. Hello, boys. Where's Matt? Said, where's Matt? Who's the pilgrim with a mask and who's the kid? What's the matter, Trigger? Can't you answer a question? I asked you where Matt is. Seems like you're the hombre that should be given the answers. We don't like strangers around here, Tommy. Looks like you've made a mistake. Not as big a mistake as you'll make if you don't get word to Matt that Slim Crozier's here. What? Did you say Crozier? Crozier? Crozier. Well, nothing wrong with your hearing, is there? Well, I... What's all this palaver about? Well, Matt, I was just going to go get Tommy. you. Where have you been? Down in Red Creek. That's what I heard. Got into a gunfight with a gambler, didn't you? Sheriff's posse trailed you out of town. I couldn't help it, Matt. The tin horn was trying to deal cards off the bottom of the deck. I don't care what he was doing. If you want to string along with me, steer clear of private fights, you understand? All right, Matt. Heard that Cal Borger stopped some lead down there. Is that right? Yeah. Serves him right. You armies can't keep your nose clean, you ought to... Who's this? What's the idea of the mask? Uh, he wanted to meet you, Matt. It's Slim Crozier. The young fellow's Dan Reed. Hello, Matt. So you're Slim Crozier. I thought maybe we might be able to do some business. Yeah? What kind of business? Well, I've got two guns. Been operating down in Texas, ain't you, Slim? Yeah, that's right. Thought you always played solitaire. I do. But this is new country for me, and I thought... With that... Carl Borger gone, I might be able to use another gun hand? Yeah. But I ain't got no use for the kid. He goes wherever I go. Maybe. What do you mean? 
I ain't so dumb that I believe everything a pilgrim tells me. Maybe you're Slim Crozier and maybe you ain't. Make him prove it, Matt. That's right, man. Make him prove it. The only way I have of proving who I am is with my guns. That won't prove nothing. I've got some pretty fancy gunshots laying around here now. Trigger, for instance. If he thinks he's a gunslinger, see what kind of lead he throws. Yeah, that's right. Is that all right with you, stranger? Sure. Come on outside, Trigger. Bring your hog leg. Right. Well, it be, Matt. That's up to you. Tommy. Yeah? Now keep my gun in leather till you pitch one of those bottles up in the air. All right. Here it goes. Now, uh, throw one of them tin cans. How's that for a starter, Matt? What do you say, stranger? You've almost finished with that cigarette you're smoking, Trigger. Aren't you going to throw it away? Why, sure, right. Did you see that? Shot that cigarette into a million pieces before it hit the ground. Now, wait a minute. I've got an idea. Get a playing card, Tommy. Put it on that bush over there. Right. I've seen Trigger do this one. He never misses. Make it an ace, Tommy. The ace of spades. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Can you see it? Watch this, Crozier. Bullseye. Right through the spade in the center. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Look That's pretty good, Trigger, but you didn't finish the job. What do you mean? There are two other spades on that card. One in each corner. You see what I mean? If you're going to shoot spades, you shouldn't neglect the little ones. Well, I guess you'll do, Slim. Come on over to my cabin a little later. We'll have a talk. Sure. We better put our horses in the corral, Dan. Come on. Golly, you really showed up that fellow they called Trigger. That isn't important, Dan. The main thing is Bradshaw thinks I'm Slim Crozier. Well, what are we going to do now? Nothing until tonight. Then I'll try to find out what Matt's plans are. said you wanted to see me, Matt. Yeah. Now, listen, Tommy, I don't want any more of that wild lead slinging like you did down in Red Creek today. Oh, Matt, the hombre I plug was just a tin horn gamble. That ain't that... the idea. A posse trailed you out of town. They might have trailed you up here. Oh, not with a cold me and the kid was riding. Told you how we ducked him. Then he took me to where Slim was waiting. That's another thing. How do we know this Jasper with the mask is really Slim Crozier? Well, he proved it with his guns, didn't he? Maybe. I ain't so sure. But I know how we can prove it. What do you mean? Nora, that kid's sister of mine. Oh, I saw Nora today in Red Creek. Yeah, she told me. I don't know what you're figuring on, Matt, but if I know your sister, the way she hates us, she won't mix up in any. Nora that's... takes orders from me. Yeah? Now, Slim Crozier, if that's who he is, and the kid. Where are they now? They're down by the corral. They've been hanging around there all afternoon. Tell the master, Ambry, I want to see him right away. Sure. Then tell the boys to saddle up. We're riding into Red Creek tonight. Uh, what, what are you going to do about Norm? I'll handle it. Do what you're told. Sure, Matt. Anything you say. Hey, Slim. Yeah? Matt wants to see you. Where is he? The big cabin next to the cottonwoods. We'll go right over. Come on, Dan. Sure. No, no, not the kid. Just you, alone. All right. Dan will wait outside. As soon as I go inside, Dan, go get Victor and Silver. Bring them up here. Sure. If you can help it, don't let any of those men know what you're doing. I understand. Oh, excuse me. I thought Matt Bradshaw was here. He isn't... I mean... He'll be right back. You're Sam Crozier, aren't you? Did uh, Matt tell you? Yes. You see, I, I'm Matt's sister. I see. He makes me stay here. I hate it. I want to get away. Will you... Will you help me? I'll be glad to help. If I can. Then, will you take a message to Sheriff Cheney in Red Creek? The sheriff? You mean you want law to... Sheriff and his posse are searching for this hideout, and you, Matt's sister, want to... Will you help me? I told you I would. I'll leave you. That's all I wanted to know. 
Get him up, stranger. Matt, you heard what we did. I was following my orders. I just wanted to see what kind of an armory you were. He made me do it. I didn't want to. I can easily understand that. All right, Matt. Now what? Keep your claws up. Tommy. Yeah? Come in and close the door. What the? Slim. This armory ain't Slim Crozier. I'll lay eight to five he ain't. How do you know? He just offered to tip off the lawman to this hideout. Take a piece of rope there and tie him up. Sure, Matt. I'll... No, you won't. Oh, my arm! You're not hurt. I just grazed your shoulder. Now raise your hands or I will kill you. You too, Tommy. All right. Dan! Yeah? Marshal Garvin is waiting with a posse at our old camp. Ride as fast as you can. Bring him and the men back here. Sure. Yell for the boys, Tommy. If either of you make a sound, I'll shoot. And you are a lawman, ain't you? No, I'm not. Well, if you're not a lawman, what's the idea? Suppose you wait and see. <laughs> Who's this? Matt Bradshaw. The other man's name is Tommy. Bradshaw, eh? I'm glad to hear that. Where's the rest of his gang? Down to the corral. And your men won't have any trouble rounding them up. All right, men. Down to the corral and hog tie these hombres. All right, come on. Get up there. Get up there. Who's the girl? She's Matt's sister, Marshal. And I'm sure she isn't proud of the fact. Am I right, Miss Bradshaw? I hate this life. Every bit of it. When Matt forced me to trap you, I... At least I was telling the truth about that. I believe you. It's all over now. You can handle these men, can't you, Marshal? Sure. Won't have any trouble now, thanks to you. Good. Come on, Dan. Wait. Wait a minute. Won't do any good to call him, miss. He's gone. But who... I mean, if he's not an outlaw, who is he? Why, I thought you knew. He's the Lone Ranger. Come on, Victor. <laughs> well, Silver! you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>